L. Von Spencer is a business guru of the highest order. He is a self-made success. He has recently sold his highly successful regional stationery company, based on the Isle of Wight, to a property developer and has set out on a new career as a business trainer and coach. Today, we follow Elvo, helping some new business people deal with the challenge of getting past the gatekeeper in order to sell to the decision maker. It's an important sales call today, a prospect, maybe even a new client. You've got to get to the big cheese and tell him about your stuff. Yeah. So what's the most important thing to remember? Paraphrasing. Yes, but... Giving. Kinda. Smiling. <coughs> Is my tie straight? Look, maybe... I'm a shoe shiny. These are all important, but... Have I got clean underwear on? Hush now. None of these matter if you can't get past the gatekeeper, the little dragon who guards the lair of the big dragon. The PA, the secretary, the receptionist. Yeah. Remember that role play we did in class? It's all about creating rapport. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Your hair looks nice. Thank you. So does yours. Oh, thank you. I'm here to see Mr. Watkins. I rang yesterday. I think it was you I spoke to. You have such a lovely voice. My name's Spencer, but please call me Vaughan. Vaughan. I remember. As I said, I'm afraid Mr. Watkins is very busy today. Oh, really? I brought you these. I think you said roses were your favourite. Oh, thank you. You did say you might be able to fit me in. I didn't promise. You promised to try. That was good enough for me. Oh, four. Oh, Heather. I can see you now. What? I'm Mr Watkins. You? Watkins? Now! I understand you've got some fascinating things you want to try to sell me. But I didn't to speak to... In the zone. Remember to smile. Girls love that. And compliment her hair. You have lovely hair. Come on, like you mean it. Uh, try a bit harder. Imagine I'm her. That's a lovely dress. I'm Bernard. We spoke on the phone. I remember your voice. Oh, thank you. I was hoping to see Tony Woodrow. I know he's very busy, but I'm happy to wait. Oh, excellent, but a bit more flirty. That's a lovely necklace. <clears throat> Sorry, don't let me keep you from your work. Great stuff. OK, we're now ready for the real thing. Let's go create rapport! You have lovely hair. Uh, could you just fill in your car registration number and your name, please? It's Bernard. What's yours? Jack. Did we speak on the phone? Um. You have a lovely voice. No! He's a man! Talk about football or cars or girls! Ah, excuse me, darling? Yes? Hi, sorry to bother you, sweetie. Uh, what a lovely voice you have. We were just trying to get an appointment. Oh, lovely hair as well. An appointment with Tony Woodrow. Now, I know you're probably busy. When you get a moment, I'm Tony Woodrow. You're Tony? You're the big dragon? Yes, darling. Short for Antonia. I was just coming to see if my package had arrived yet. Yes, here it is, and uh, this is Bernard. Oh, great. You're right on time, so I can fit you in. Shall we go and have that cup of coffee? Thanks, Jack. See you later. I like your gilet. Whoever you see first, PA or secretary or receptionist, treat the gatekeeper as you would the client. This person determines whether or not you'll have the chance to speak to the potential buyer. Oh, excuse me, Tony. 
Do you know where Bernard is? We finished our meeting ages ago. Hasn't he come out yet? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, there he is. Oh, Bernard. Oh, Jack. You have got lovely hair. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Yeah.